Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand how to find the value of VIL for a resistive load inverter. Okay, let's get started. VIL is nothing but input low, which means because it's an inverter, output is high. But mind you, VIL is the point on your voltage transfer characteristic where your slope is equal to 1, means your dv out by dv in the differentiation of your output voltage with respect to your input voltage is equal to minus one and one very important thing also which you need to keep in mind is the definition of vil let's understand let's assume for this definition that my ground is nothing but at zero volts and my vdd is nothing but 1.8 volts the definition of vil is nothing but input low but it is the maximum input voltage which can be considered as logic zero it's a maximum input voltage so what do we understand that just as a reference if 0 to 1.8 is my total range somewhere to 0 to 0 0.9 will be the value where i will consider my input to be logic zero and anywhere above 0 0.9 to 1.8 i'll consider my value as logic high so we can easily see that VIL would be somewhere closer to 0.9 or just for example, let's say VIL is equal to 0.8. Now let's understand what is the region of operation for my NMOS transistor. And why are we doing this? Because we want to equate the value of the transistor current to the value of the current flowing across the resistor. So VIL is 0.8. So let's first understand whether the transistor is on or not. VGS which is nothing but my input V in which is nothing but VIL because that is what we are trying to find is equal to 0.8 Is it greater than or equal to VT? The answer is yes Because my VT is nothing but 0.6 or 0.7 volts So one thing is clear that my transistor is on Now what I need to find is whether my transistor is operating in the linear region or in the saturation region In order to do that I am going to take help for the equation which deals with VDS and VGS minus VT and depending on the sign whether it's a less than sign or a greater than sign we'll be able to predict whether the transistor is in the linear region or in the saturation region now VDS is nothing but V out we have already seen that VGS is nothing but V in minus VT now output is high input is low with sign we will get that's correct will get a greater than sign this proves that my transistor is in the saturation region so what i need to do now is very simple equate the value of current in the saturation region to the value of current ir flowing across the resistor and i'll get the value of my vil let's quickly do that let's write the equation of the current in the saturation region and equate it with the value of the current flowing across the resistor the value of current in saturation is nothing but kn by 2 we have it on the left hand side kn by 2 vgs minus vt the whole square equal to ir which is nothing but vdd minus v out upon rl let's do nothing but substitute the value of vgs which is nothing but v in and rewrite the equation that is nothing but kn by 2 v in minus vt the whole square equal to vdd minus v out upon rl we know that while finding VIL on the curve of voltage transfer characteristics dv out by dv in is equal to minus 1. So let's differentiate this equation 1 with respect to v in and let's rewrite the equation which is nothing but minus 1 by rl dv out by dv in equal to kn into v in minus vt. Let's substitute dv out by dv in equal to minus 1. This is minus 1 by RL into minus 1 equal to KN into V in minus VT. Now let's substitute V in equal to VIL so that we get the value of VIL. Once we do that, we will get VIL equal to VT plus 1 by KN RL. Let's call this equation 2. Now we have got VIL's value, but if we see what is my corresponding output voltage, when my input is VIL, for that I have to substitute the value of VIL in my equation 1 in V in 
and that will give me the corresponding output voltage when my input is equal to VIL. We just saw that my VIL is equal to VT plus 1 by KNRL. We need to substitute this value in the following equation. VDD minus V out upon RL equal to KN by 2 V in which is nothing but VIL minus VT the whole square. When I substitute my value of VIL here, the value of V out when my input is equal to VIL is nothing but VDD minus KNRL by 2 into VT plus 1 by KNRL minus VT the whole square which is nothing but VDD minus 1 by twice KNRL. So this gives me the corresponding value of V out when my input is equal to VIL. Hope you have understood how to find the expression for VIL and its corresponding output voltage. Stay tuned. In the further clip, we are going to see the similar thing for finding the value of VIH. Thank you.